Richard, can you tell us a bit about the people that are behind the manufacturing here? So, for instance, how many staff have you got? Yeah, we've got uh, 10 people here. We've got Vicky that runs the office, she's front of house, handles the telephones, the sales orders, the purchasing. We've got seven great machinists, real top-notch guys that operate the most state-of-the-art equipment. Um, we've got Ray, who's been with us for many years. He does the fitting, bending and rolling of sheet metal. And uh, finally, we've just taken on two apprentices um, to start to fill some of the skills gaps that we've got. Rich has now brought us to the inspection room, which is the hub and the nerve centre of the quality control side of the business here. So, Richard, can you tell us a bit about how you make sure the mowers are, that lead the dentist factory are up to the rigours of the market? Yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of it's about standardisation and standard working practices. And to do that, last year we, we took the decision to attain our ISO 9001 accreditation, uh, which demonstrates that we do comply to industry standards in our inspection, calibration, goods receiving, stock control, purchasing, sales. Um, everything's documented in a quality manual which everyone adheres to and it just gives everyone a level playing field. We get, a, we get audited externally to uh, ensure that we comply with what we say we're doing and, and it demonstrates to the whole market that we, we attain that accreditation. Um, on top of that we, we've got some state-of-the-art equipment out there to utilise those to the best efficiency we need some good inspection gear as well and, and that's what this inspection room is all about. We've got a CMM behind us which measures accuracies up to 3 microns. Um, all the components get checked as they go through the production and signed off by the inspector. So Richard, a manufacturing operation like this takes constant investment and a pretty big investment. I understand you've, you've made an investment fairly recently in machinery like this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in the last two years we've invested £1.2 million pounds worth of kit into all British precision. Um, that's brought us five machines tools. We bought three of the latest sliding head machines from Star GB that are located just down the road. Uh, those machines are fantastic from nine axis up to 12 axis turn mill machines, which means we can automate production. We can utilize the hours that we're not here through lights out production. Um, they take a part, a bar, to feed it in through. It comes out as a finished component ready to be dispatched. Which, is, which almost eliminates manual handling. They're very accurate machines. They'll hold um, accuracies of less than 10 microns. Um, in addition to that, we've, we've lately invested in the DMG Morisiki machines, which we can see behind us. Um, this is probably one of their flagship machines utilized by the F1 teams, such as Red Bull. Um, these are much the same as the sliders. It's very automated. Um, multi-axis term mill machining. A uh, component like that, to do in a traditional way, we'd have to do in multi-setups on multiple machines with multiple people. With that, we stick a billet in this end and it comes out as a finished part at that end. Um, that's it straight off the machine, so you can see that's not touched by human hands. That gives us greater accuracy, repeatability and, and much more efficient way of manufacturing. Richard, another important area of investment for any business is training. I understand that's an area you're particularly passionate about. Can you give us a bit more on that? Yeah, absolutely. We take our training very seriously. We've invested, as we just said, a lot of money in the equipment and we need the best engineers to run that equipment. Uh, the new gear is very complicated to use. It's not rocket science, but it's getting pretty damn close. So they've, all the engineers have gone on some extensive training courses uh, with the companies that supply the kit. We also recognise there's a skilled shortage in the UK for, for good engineers, so now we've, we've approached um, Derby College and we're now embarking on an apprentice training scheme. Two months ago we started our first trainees on the, on the job and they're, they're doing great and uh, they're going to be our future engineers, we're very proud of them. Our passion is to put the great back into British manufacture, uh, making our engineers the respected profession that they deserve. A sentiment we all agree with, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, Richard, we've had a really good look around the place, and thank you for that. I guess uh, an appropriate thing to perhaps finish on is any business is only as good as its people. And we've obviously got some key individuals. I understand you're also looking perhaps to attract more people to the business. Can you tell us a bit about what you're doing there? Yes, um, we, we are looking to recruit more engineers. Uh, it is difficult to find good engineers, as I say, that's why we, we've done the, the apprentice scheme. Um, but we are, we are looking at a grant with Derbyshire Enterprise Growth Scheme 
for a further investment in the company, some further investment in similar machine tools, which will require an extra 10 people for the company. Um, we'll be looking to put on a second shift and, and double our turnover effectively. So all that investment in machinery still needs skilled labour to look after it? Absolutely. And I understand you've had you know, a number of employees that have been with you for some time. Yeah, I mean we've got Ray, uh, a, a local character, he's been with the company 40 years now. Uh, he's not been in another role, I don't think he's been here man and boy. Uh, we've got a, a whole range of local employees ranging from 17 years old now up to 64. Um, we cover every spectrum. So a great British business with great people from a local region. Absolutely.